But once empty hospital opened its doors again today, this time for North Texas veterans. The new Garland VA Medical Center is expected to serve thousands of veterans. And as Jason Allen found out, it could also be a COVID relief center. That story, all new for you at 4.30. Medical staff were on calls with patients. People were in the hallways. Rooms were ready and waiting. The Garland VA Medical Center was open and active Tuesday ahead of schedule in a facility that less than three months ago was empty. Well, I think it's incredible what the VA has done with the speed they've done it. Congressman Colin Allred toured the facility Tuesday that Baylor Health donated to the VA in April. It saved the VA the potential billion-dollar cost of building something new, and it should help alleviate the top challenge for the nation's second-largest VA health system, space and time to see patients who often crowd the medical center in South Dallas. We're able to move a lot of services off the main campus, primary care, which is what people get the most, uh, coming in and seeing the regular doctor before they get referred to specialists, etc. That means more space to expand services on the main campus and the ability to bring back patients who had to get eye care or chiropractic care in other places. With the opening today, the facility's first mission is not going away. This spring, the VA rushed to get the doors open for a possible overflow of patients because of COVID-19, but didn't end up having to use it. As cases rise again, wings with hundreds of beds can still be sectioned off if necessary. COVID has also led to more veterans doing appointments virtually to keep from coming in. I think so. I think it's changed the way we'll practice medicine from here on. Right? There'll be much more telehealth involved for what we do. In Garland, Jason Allen, 